Hi, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, David. Well, uh, my name is Kazu Shiminami from Kyoto University, and um, today we're going to talk about this topic of uh, US Japan China relations and uh, East Asian regional security. But uh, prior to the presentation, I have to say thank you very much for all the people who gathered around here today. Thank you. We really, really appreciate it. And our special thanks. Uh, has to go to Ms. Aaron Robinson who bothered to arrange this event from the beginning. Thank you very much. Well, um, and well, let's uh, then well let's uh, go to our presentation period and we'll do this presentation and today, uh, this presentation will last for about uh, 40 to 45 minutes long and afterwards we're gonna have a follow-on discussion and we actually put more emphasis on the follow-on discussion because. That's uh, you know, exactly what we want to do here in this George Washington University. We want to uh, exchange opinions, thoughts, ideas on this critical issue with the you know with different you know with the people with uh, different backgrounds and and you know educational discipl disciplines and so forth. Well, anyway, uh, now uh, I'm going into our presentation first. Well, <clears throat> first of all, uh, I want to show you the basic outline of this presentation. First, I'm gonna say something about, um, you know, introduction. As an introduction, you know, very, very uh, simple, but significant, uh, you know, uh, current moments, which is taking place here in this region, Asian Pacific region. So I'm gonna talk about it as an introduction first. And then we're gonna go through three biological relations, one by one. First of all, uh, I'm gonna, we are going to ex uh, explore through uh, U.S.-Japan relations, which will be presented by uh, Kiyohiro Atsuji. My name is Kiyohiro Atsuji. I'm sophomore in the Faculty of Law in Kyoto University. I'm going to talk about the United States-Japan relations. And then, uh, in our second part, uh, Japan-China relations, which will be uh, done by uh, Yuka Nishiwaki. Hi, my name is Yuka Nishiwaki from Faculty of Economics in Kyoto University. I'm a sohomo and study international political economy. My presentation is about the Japan-China relations. And then the final part, final biology relations of U.S.-China relations, which we will be presented by uh, Ho Shuan Yue. Uh, my name is Ho Shuan Yue. I'm an uh, international student from Shanghai, China. And I'm now studying economy in Kyoto University. I'm a sophomore student. Uh, today I will talk about uh, US China relations. Thank you. And then after that, we're going to go to the conclusion period. And I will suggest uh, you know, the new partnership of, the, uh, of those three nations. And my name is Kazu Shimina again. I'm a junior in Kyoto University School of Economy. Well, first, just as I said, uh, we're gonna go through uh, you know very simple dynamism which we can easily notice here in this region Pacific, uh, you know Asia Pacific area. Well, of course, you know as everybody knows, uh, you know, China is now both politically and economically rising very rapidly. And but on the other hand, uh, the neighboring countries, uh, not <laughs> actually neighboring countries, but uh, you know. Uh, very important uh, to nations here in this region. Japan and the United States is now, the, both of them are now uh, in a period of political and economic transition period and having some difficulty dealing with this uh, rise of China. And then, <clears throat> well, that is the very you know, simple uh, introduction to what's going on here in this region, but I think everybody knows that, so. And then um, I, uh, I want to introduce you to a very, very uh, useful but uh, too simplistic way to put, you know, way to grasp what what kind of relations you can expect uh, in relations to this, uh, you know, throughout the relations of the United States and Japan and China. Um, we will uh, we'll use the framework of something we call triangle relations. Well, uh, you know. In short, this is the relations. I mean, we're gonna think about the shape of the relate, shape of the triangle, which is uh, consisting of three nations: the United States, and Japan, and China. Uh, and uh, you know, 
for example, just for example, according to the uh, Army TGNI report, which is publicized in the year 2000, I, actually, I have this one here. Uh, this is the, you know, version 2, <coughs> Army TGNI report version 2, and, oh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. I forgot the version 1. But the version 1 was publicized in 2000. And according to uh, Army TGNI report, the first one, the shape of the triangle would be like this, would have to be like this. Well, this is obviously, uh, you know, maybe uh, G2 between the United States and Japan. Of course, the China is a little <coughs> far away from those uh, two countries. But on the other hand, according to the uh, Peterson Institute chairman, Fred Bergstein, uh, you know, set in 2008 in the famous uh, American foreign, you know, magazine on foreign affairs, the triangle, you know, shape of the triangle should be like this. Well, this is of course the G2, the famous but notorious G2 uh, of the United States and China, and Japan is a little isolated. But on the other hand, according to DPJ, uh, the Democratic Party of Japan's Secretary General, Mr. Ichiro Ozawa, in 2009, the shape of the triangle should be like this. Well, obviously this is a kind of perfect triangle consisting of the three nations, uh, with uh, both of them taking exactly the same distance from each other, and so maybe we can call this a uh, you know, most balanced shape of triangle. So what I want to say is that uh, there is you know, there are many many views uh, to what's uh, what kind of uh, what kind of shape of triangle we can expect here. And so we'll explore this again afterwards. Well, this is all for introduction part. Then we're going to the uh, three biological relations part.